Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to talk about Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, the beta is finally out, and for the most part, I'm having a lot of fun with it. The combat's a lot of fun, it's addicting, adrenaline-filled, but even though it has these awesome qualities going for it, I am very worried about this game right now. The reason why I'm as worried as I am is because they are still having server-related issues. This seems to be like a reoccurring issue with Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, if you guys remember a couple of months ago when we had access to the closed beta, if you watched one of my live streams, you may have noticed that it was more of a lobby simulator than an actual first-person shooter. It was a nightmare even getting into one of these rounds. Now that we're less than a week away from the game releasing, I mean, it comes out on December 1st. This is the reason why I'm worried, is that we are still now having server problems. There are times when you jump into a round, everything's going well and it disconnects you. There are other times when you join a lobby and you can't even get out of deployment where you spawn on in because it rubber bands all over the place. It's literally unplayable. There are other moments when you get stuck in the lobby and it's almost seemingly impossible to join a round. It is so bad right now that they had to postpone the open beta a day to be able to resolve the matchmaking issues. Now do you see why I'm a little worried about it? Because the game's fun. Like, I, I will get to that here in a second. Like, I am really enjoying the game itself. But for $60 multiplayer, and it is a multiplayer. Yes, I know there is Terrorist Hunt, but that's kind of a thing on the side. They are selling this as a multiplayer competitive first-person tactical shooter. When you're having this many server-related issues only a week before the game is going to be coming out, it's hard not to be hesitant about it. Uh, my hope is, is that they are now working around the clock, which I'm sure that they are, to resolve these issues. Uh, I will, in the next couple of days, let you know if things improve. I mean, this is probably the reason why they had the open beta to begin with, so that they weren't having these problems when December 1st finally did roll around and everything was smooth. Uh, but as I mentioned, things aren't looking too good right now. And so I will keep you guys up to date. I plan on playing the beta all the way until the 29th of Nobe November. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it's going to be a flawless gameplay experience in the next couple of days. Uh, as for the gameplay itself, as I've been mentioning, uh, it's, a, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, one thing I have greatly appreciated since last time I played is that they've significantly decreased the amount of downtime in between rounds. You're not twiddling your thumbs as much. You're in the action, you're playing the game as it should be in any first-person shooter. Uh, another adjustment that I've greatly appreciated is that they've made some adjustments to the Riot Shield users. Uh, they basically came out and said that the Riot Shields were overpowered during the closed beta. Uh, if you played as the three operators that could use them, they had a higher win-loss ratio percentage compared to all of the others. Like, they, they were literally overpowered and changing the meta of the game. And so what I've liked about the, the recent update, or what we have right now, is that they're not as crazy as they were. Uh, basically, if you want to fire this from the hip, they're not going to be nearly as accurate or as deadly like they were. Uh, also, if you are taking damage or you're getting shot at while you are wielding the riot shield, uh, it also increases your bullet spread significantly. And so for the most part, it's much more manageable when you are fighting these in all of the maps. I still don't know if they've gone far enough. It's still very frustrating when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone who's using a riot shield because, well, yeah, they're less, they're way less accurate. They are going to have a harder time killing you. Uh, if you're not working with a buddy or if it literally is just you versus him at the end of the round, good luck trying to take them out. Like, they have a huge advantage over you, and I've still had situations where I get one-shotted uh, by a pistol, and that gets very frustrating. Uh, this does transition very nicely into one of my complaints, though, and that is that that crazy headshot damage. It seems like every single weapon, and I'm not 100% confirmed on this because I haven't used every gun in the game yet, but it seems like all of the pistols all the way to the assault rifles and everything in between, if you're able to land that headshot, you're gonna drop your enemy with that one bullet. Not even Counter-Strike is that severe. I realize they are going for that ultra-realistic gameplay. They want to reward you for that accuracy, but a lot of the time, it just results in frustrating moments because your enemy got lucky. Uh, there are times when I am laying into an enemy, I have the better accuracy, and they just kind of whip around, spray down range, and get a, let a lucky headshot on me. Yeah, you, you might argue, hey, they're better, they deserve to get that kill on you, they had the better accuracy, and I will give you that, but then there are other moments when I'm going against someone who's using a riot shield, I mean, even shooting at him so he has increased bullet spread, he fires once and he lands the headshot. Would you say that he has skill there? 
I, I, I'm gonna have a hard time believe. I'm gonna have a hard time believing that. And so, in my opinion, maybe some of the uh, smaller caliber weapons or something like the pistols shouldn't have that one-shot capability. I think it would result in in more enjoyable gameplay. It would result in uh, rewarding accuracy a little bit more. So you have to get maybe two consecutive headshots when you are using a pistol. Maybe that would nerf the riot shields a little bit more so they're not the preferred uh, gadget or accessory to use. Uh, because right now, while I love the game, I mean, clearly I'm having a lot of fun when you're able to play it, uh, that was one of my largest complaints. Uh, but overall, I think probably the best quality about Rainbow Six Siege is the satisfaction and gratification that you feel by securing only a single kill. You kill two, three, four people in a round, you feel like a god. It's kind of the same sense that I get with Counter-Strike, and it's incredibly addicting. There, there have been times where I tell myself, all right, one more round, Matt, and that's it. We're going to go do something else. And then two hours go by because it is that satisfying. I think that is the magic of Rainbow Six Siege, and they do a very good job of capturing that. Yes, it does have its problems. Yes, there are some issues with it, but just in general, it makes you want to keep on playing because at the end of the day, it is a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. This, of course, is just my initial impressions, but I'd love to know what you guys are thinking so far. Are you enjoying it as much as I am? Are you also uh, pretty worried as well? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, yeah, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy.